Once you have an account in Pixlr, you can open up the image. From home, you'll be able to create a new image or open your images. I will go to my active images. These are your latest projects in home. Um, they save in your cache. That means if you were to delete your browser history or your cookies or you're just going to private mode, you won't have access to this. And you have to, in fact, download them as this file format, a PXZ, if you want to keep them locally or at all. They don't, even with a paid account, they don't save in the cloud. With that said, let's get started. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover how you add layers to an image, a text layer, and how those layers stack back and forth. Over here, you have your layers. And when you add text, you're adding a layer. Each set of text will become a layer that you can manipulate and move around. So I'm going to click the T for text, and then I can move my cursor around. Now, in a um, left exit 12 meme, you have you know one decision and then the decision you're going to make. So if I click here, I can then add text, and I could say ceasefire. And if you see over here, I've now added a new layer. And with this, I can hide the layer and do, and then you know see the layer. And that becomes useful when you are editing. These dots here, you can change the opacity or how much you can see through a level. And that also becomes useful when you kind of stack images or are just having fun. Now, these letters are too big. Up here I have my editing toolbars, and I can change the font. Do whatever I want. I think I will just stick with Georgia, and I can change the color, and then here I can change the size. And put that here. And then, you know, for the better decision, I can add a new text layer, add, you notice here, it adds a text layer, and then add a person. And put that here. Now, watch, see how these are arranged? If I were to move this under, the background, you don't see it because it's now under, so they're stacked on top. So, And so that's it. You learned how to make a meme. Um, we opened up an image in Pixlr, and then we learned how that we could add a text layer, and then how we can move those layers up and down our meme. And so go ahead and start remixing. There's tons of classics. You just come up with an idea, something that you want to compare, think about all the memes you've seen, and just remix what's already out there. Bye.